Hey everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. I'm so excited for today's video, but before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Just hit that big red subscribe button down below. It is totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. Now, this is something that I've gotten a lot of questions about from you guys. Do you ever have problems with your printer and the color settings? Sometimes it looks too pink or too red. Sometimes it looks too yellow or too green. Well, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix that. The version I'm going to show you is sublimation just because it was a little bit easier, but this works with print and cut as well. Sometimes you'll get colors that are just a little bit off. So I'm going to use this t-shirt. This is 100% polyester t-shirt and I'm going to show you guys the differences in the settings and how to make sure that you have your settings set correctly. Plus, we're going to actually show you how you can save those settings so that you don't have to do it every single time. I'm so excited for this one. This is going to be a game changer. So let's get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for show you how to do this in Inkscape but honestly as long as you can access your printer's settings from any of your programs you can do this in anything I just prefer to use Inkscape so the first thing that I did was I just loaded an image now it's pretty big and because I'm gonna do this with two different settings I'm just gonna reduce the size of it just so we can see it a little bit better um, next to each other when we do the shirt so we'll have about a 10 inch wide image so we're just gonna use this random image of InSync. The reason I chose this though was because of the red background and the white shirts and the dark pants. This way we can really kind of see the difference when you use different printer settings. So we are printing this with sublimation because that's really where I see a lot of people struggle with their color settings, but this will work too if you don't want to use sublimation. This is another great way that you can really get those printer settings. So what I'm going to do is actually label this really quick so that we know what settings that we are using. So I'm just going to call this no setting. That way we can remember that this is the image that we're using without any additional settings. So what we'll do is we're going to go file and print. Now I'm not going to change any settings except for two things because they really do have to be changed. So go to preferences and you're going to go to more options and turn off high speed and mirror your image. Now I also do need to change my document size because I did forget to do that on Inkscape, but you can just let it know that you're using a letter eight and a half by 11. Click okay. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm not changing anything else. So paper type's the same, quality steps to standard, I'm not changing anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and print this one out and then I'll show you guys how to change your settings. Now this one, we're just gonna change this word. We're just gonna reword this to setting. I'm just gonna take the word setting on, no off and leave it as setting. That way we remember that this is the one we did change our printer settings to. Now what you'll need to do is go to file and print again, and again, click preferences. I'll move everything over a little bit so you can see. I'm gonna change my document size cause I messed up and forgot to change it again. That's okay, no big deal. Paper type, I'm gonna change to the premium presentation paper mat. Then under quality, change this to high. That's all the settings that you really need to do on this page. But on the next page, we're going to go to more options. Over here in more options, what I want you to do is go ahead, turn off that high speed, turn on mirror image. Then over here on color correction, go to custom, click advanced. Under the advanced controls, you'll see that you have a bunch of different options. So one thing that really helps is to change the color mode from Epson Vivid to Adobe RGB. Make sure the 2.2 gamma is selected. That's just going to give you the better print quality. Now this right here, your color adjustment method, I like to use the slide bars, but if you're more comfortable using the circle, you can do that. But I find that if you're not really um, versed in color, the slide bars are a little bit better. So one thing that I recommend is to turn that brightness up just a little bit. Now you're going to need to test your printer. You may have to turn the brightness down. You may have to turn it up. It's really kind of up to you. Contrast, I will turn down just a smidge. And then the saturation, I like to turn down a little bit as well. Mine really likes to pump out that color. Now with this one, I do turn the magenta down and the cyan down. But again, I've really tested this. So I recommend getting a rainbow photo and trying that out and printing it a couple times, pressing it to see what looks best. And I like to turn my yellow up just a little bit. 
Um, it's just a matter of your printer and knowing what settings works for your printer. So then all you need to do is click OK. Now you can add and remove presets just by clicking this little button up here where it says add remove presets. I'm just going to call this preset test even though I've already set these. That way I remember that this is just my test preset. And I'm going to go ahead and click save right here and click close. That's all you simply have to do. So now once you've saved that preset, you can just select it and it's always going to print at that preset setting. Really easy to do, super simple, very, very easy. So once you've saved that preset, you can kind of just select whichever one you want. So I'm, again, I use that one, but I'll typically use Submir 1. But that was just to show you how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and use Submir 1 and I'll show you the options I use for that. So that's Premiere Presentation Paper Map. I use high setting. I turn on mirror image and then under advanced, I'll show you my settings. My brightness is at negative two, contrast is at negative five, and my saturation is zero. My cyan I turned down to seven and my yellow I turned to up to six. Those are the printer settings that work best for me. It might be a great place for you guys to start, but again, yours may not be the same. It can depend on your ink as well. I'm using StarCraft ink. So I'm gonna click okay and I'm gonna click okay again. And then I'm just going to go ahead and print this out with the settings and then we'll press it to the shirt. The first thing that we'll do is put some butcher paper inside of our shirt. I'm using a Cricut brand 100% polyester shirt. That way it's really going to give us the brightest possible image that we can get. Um, I think that's really important when doing this is when you're testing, use 100% polyester. So I would just grab like a cheap polyester shirt. You can get them at Walmart and things like that, but I got these on Cricut for really cheap a while back. So I do think that that's like something to think about when you're doing this is to make sure you're doing it on 100% polyester. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the images that we printed and you can see a huge difference already. So this obviously was the no setting and then this one was the one where we changed the settings. You can really see how bright and colorful this one is and how dull and cruddy that one looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off the edges of these real quick. I trimmed them down just so that I could fit them closer together, but I'm gonna trim these edges down and then we'll tape them both down and then we can press them. So it doesn't really matter which side we go as far as the t-shirt's concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these face down. And again, we're just doing this as a tester, so I'm not really worried about them being straight or even or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tape right here, and I'm going to tape them down on the top and on the bottom, just so that they're held down and they don't move. I don't want any ghosting, so I'm just going to put a little bit of tape. Now I have my heat press set to 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm going to let that finish heating up, and then we can go ahead and press these. The heat press is ready to go, so I've got our images. This is a piece of butcher paper to protect my press. This is really important because some of the ink can bleed through your paper. So we're going to press this for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. All right, we're almost ready to pull this up, so we're going to pull it up when it beeps, and then we can remove the butcher paper. And I will put this to the side so you guys can see how much bleed we got through that. And then what we're going to do is take this off the press, peel these up, and I'll show you what they look like. These are off the press or ready to peel, so let's take a look. So like I said, we, we labeled them for setting and no setting, so we could really see the difference in the images. So I really can tell a huge difference, and hopefully you guys can too. This is the, obviously the one with no setting. You can see the black not nearly as bright or true. We've got some nice black, and I really think that the red is much truer to the image here than it is on this one. This one's more burgundy, this one is more red. You can also see the color of their jeans. They're more blue in here, and if you looked at the original photo, they're more of a gray black color. Also looking at their skin tone, it's very kind of orange over here, and over here it's much more true to the right color. So that's one thing that you definitely want to look at are your printer settings. Now I'll show you really quick what our papers look like and I'll put them on the right side so you can see them. So you can see here the differences in the color of our paper. You can see that this one has some ink left but it really did put a lot on our shirt and then this one is much more of a lighter tone because again it didn't have nearly as much ink. Also looking closely at this one and I don't know if you guys will see it as well there are some lines in this one um, where it looks like it didn't print great. Now I will say this one has a little bit of 
some ink issues up here. I probably need to clean my print heads because I've done a ton of sublimation testing today. So I will run a clean, a print head cleaner to get rid of this. But otherwise, this one is really, really great, really, really colorful. Those blacks are really dark. Everything looks fantastic. It's really gotten its way into the shirt because this one, it really doesn't um, hold its color as well when you stretch. And this one's gonna hold its color a little bit better when you stretch because there's more ink in the shirt. So like I said, doing the settings is really important. You're going to want to play around with it a little bit to figure out what works best for your printer. Now you may need to adjust them from time to time depending on your image or your pictures, but using that preset setting can really give you a lot of help and it really makes a big, big difference. If you have any questions, let me know in those comments down below. Also, uh, are you an InSync fan or a Backstreet fan? I need to know. Let me know in those comments. Let's ha let's have a little boy band battle. Also, what was your favorite song? Because I'm a huge boy band fan and I just need to know. All right, guys, I hope you had so much fun learning how to do some printer settings for sublimation or just regular prints. Have a great day and happy crafting. Oh,